in a legal drama fit for the New York stage, the Trump family finds itself at the center of a high-stakes trial that could shake their real estate empire to its core. With the former president, Donald Trump, and his three eldest children as key witnesses, the courtroom showdown promises to be a blockbuster event, replete with allegations of civil fraud, political conspiracy, and financial intrigue. The trial, initiated by New York Attorney General Letitia James, alleges that Donald Trump, the current Republican frontrunner for the 2024 election, engaged in a decades-long practice of inflating his wealth on financial statements. These statements, it is claimed, were provided to banks, insurers, and various stakeholders in order to secure loans and lucrative business deals. The case has the potential to strip Trump of corporate holdings and iconic properties like Trump Tower. Donald Trump, who vehemently denies any wrongdoing, has labeled the trial a politically motivated sham, further fueling the contentious atmosphere. The case involves not only the former president but also his two sons, Donald Jr. and Eric, who are defendants in the lawsuit. Interestingly, the state has chosen to call them as witnesses before the defense has its turn. A surprise development in the courtroom came when Donald Trump briefly testified, facing Judge Arthur and Goron's questions regarding an out-of-court comment. This testimony led to a $10,000 fine, adding to a previous $5,000 fine for an online post disparaging a court clerk. Trump's lawyers have paid these fines, but they may yet appeal them, setting the stage for more legal drama. The most recent twist in the trial involves Trump's daughter, Ivanka, who had sought to avoid testifying but was rejected by Judge Ngoron. If you've made it this far in the video, please support our channel by subscribing, sharing, and commenting. While an appeals court dismissed her as a defendant in the lawsuit in June, claiming that the claims against her were too old, the state contends that Ivanka was a key participant in certain events relevant to the case. Her ongoing financial and professional ties to the Trump Organization and its leadership suggest that she cannot escape the long legal arm of New York. The state's argument, as presented in court documents, paints a compelling picture of Ivanka's continued involvement in Trump organization matters, including her participation in negotiating and securing financing for various properties, such as a Washington hotel and loans for Trump's Doro Golf Resort in Miami. The revelation that Ivanka Trump retained a financial interest in the Trump organization even after her White House tenure, particularly through an interest in a now-sold Washington hotel, raises intriguing questions about the family's financial intricacies. What is more intriguing, and potentially disconcerting, is the suggestion that ties to businesses in New York could be yet another avenue for the Trump Organization to profit. The legal documents indicate that Ivanka Trump's businesses were insured by the Trump Organization, managed by the same organization's staff, and even had their credit card bills paid by the family's corporation. Furthermore, it is revealed that Ivanka Trump had Manhattan apartments still in her name. These connections paint a picture of a continued financial interdependence, raising the question of whether the Trump Organization could be utilizing such ties as a means to further their interests. In 2021, Ivanka Trump reported an income of $2.6 million from Trump entities, including revenue from a company known as TTT Consulting LLC. This enterprise was allegedly established for Ivanka and her brothers to benefit from fees generated by licensing agreements. The existence of such arrangements, where the Trump children profit from their father's business empire, calls into question the extent of their independence and financial autonomy. As the trial unfolds in the heart of New York City, all eyes are on the Trump family and the intricate web of business dealings that have defined their legacy. With the potential for significant legal ramifications and the specter of alleged financial manipulations, the saga promises to be a lasting chapter in the history of one of America's most prominent families. The courthouse drama is far from over, and the consequences could reverberate through the Trump empire and beyond. Please show your support, subscribe, like, comment, and share, four free ways to boost our channel. Thank you very much.